Alright guys, it's Thursday morning. I'm going to take you through everything that I eat in a day during training for ultra running. So breakfast today is just going to consist of oatmeal with a banana, peanut butter, and honey, and then coffee. So I'll show you how I get that done. Okay, so right here I have my meal number one. My uh, oatmeal with peanut butter, banana, and honey, and then coffee. I like to eat this around like one to two hours before my run, so that way it's fully digested. There's nothing running around my stomach when I'm going on my run, especially today. I have a longer run, so I wanna make sure everything's nice and settled before I get my workout in. So we'll get this down, and then I'll see you on the next meal. All right, so we got a 17 mile run. We're at El Moro Canyon right now. And then I'll show you what I eat right after my runs and for a recovery meal. All right, let's go. Okay, I just finished the 17 miler. Legs feeling a little fried, but overall felt really good. That was a nice one. So I'm gonna set the towel down on the grass over there and then I'll show you what I'm eating for my uh, post run recovery. Okay, so for my post run 17 miles, I just ate a protein bar with like 15 grams of protein and like 25, 30 grams of carbohydrates. So it's super important to get like protein and carbs right after your run. And then I also have some raw cashews right here. So I'll probably have uh, three or four handfuls of this right now. Uh, do some core because it's a long drive home. So I have to bring food with me because I won't be home and I won't have the chance to eat for like another hour. So yeah, it's super important to get in that protein and carbs um, within like 20 to 30 minutes, I'd say after your run. So we'll get this down and uh, we'll do some core right now while we're on the field and then we'll head back home for an actual full meal after the run. So I'll see you then. Also guys, forgot to mention that on the run I ate one of these honey stinger gels. I think they're like 100 calories. I'm not a huge fan honestly of gels. I didn't eat any on my ultra, my first 100K. I just had like uh, personal servings of peanut butter, a lot of bars and a lot of liquid. So um, I don't really like the way uh, gels make my stomach feel and I don't really like the taste or texture either. So. It's all I had though on the run, so yeah, I ate that about uh, between like 11 and a half and 12 miles, so it kind of gives you a little boost of energy and gets me through the run, so um, they're all I had, so yeah, they do, they do the trick. All right, so this is gonna be our uh, post-run meal here. We have cranberry bagel with uh, three fried eggs and some gouda cheese on it, and then a super dense uh, smoothie. Uh, everything is from Trader Joe's here, but yeah, I find it super hard to sometimes get down a lot of calories, so this tastes great, and it's easier to do the gown. This smoothie right here is probably, I don't know, it's a lot of calories though, so uh, I'll add them all up after this, and uh, yeah, we'll get this down. We still got a bunch more food to eat today, so uh, stick around. All right, so what I got here is kind of like my first dinner. I got a huge salad, ton of romaine lettuce, uh, some tomatoes, a little Parmesan cheese, um, about six ounces of turkey breast, and then just some oil and vinegar dressing. Super simple salad. I usually do avocado and cucumbers, but I don't have any more cucumbers, and none of my avocados are ripe. So yeah, I'm gonna get this salad down right now, and then hopefully I'll have another dinner planned in about an hour or so. So I'll see you then. I'm gonna get a little snack real quick, some baby carrots, and it's like just like 35 calories, three ounces. So I'll probably have one serving just as a little snack, keep you filled. And then with my pasta, I'm just gonna make these frozen mixed vegetables just to get some veggies in for the day. Alright, so what we have right here is basically an entire pound of penne pasta and then a homemade pink sauce that I made with like 
uh, stewed tomatoes, a little bit of sour cream, just some spices, and a little bit of, um, yeah, Parmesan cheese, I think. Yeah, so I just made like a little house-made pink sauce. I already ate the entire thing of mixed veggies. I don't like to mix my vegetables with other foods. I just like to get it out of the way first thing because I don't like the taste of it. So uh, yeah, now we're just gonna eat this uh, pasta right now and then if I'm still feeling hungry, maybe grab a little dessert before bed. So let's do it. My last meal of the night, just some chocolate cereal. Cereal is kind of my little weakness, so I like to eat it for dessert sometimes at night. I'll go ahead and list all the nutrition and the calories and everything in just a second. Oh, also a little disclaimer. I drank about uh, seven of these throughout the day. This is like the smaller hydro flask. I think it's between 18 and 20 ounces. So um, four of them had like a little bit of Gatorade powder in them. Three of them were just straight water. So yeah, somewhere around like between like 125 and 140 ounces. So that's about how much water I like to typically drink in a day. Around a gallon or so is just about right. Really appreciate you watching the video. If you like the video, please just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. And uh, as always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace.